Hi, my name is Nicholas Merzowski. I'm running for House Representative of District 55, which encompasses Highlands County, Okeechobee, Glades, and a part of St. Lucie. I'm here to try to take back the community through helping out our public schools and teachers and our students, as well as community development and bringing in the businesses that will give better wages to our area. I believe that the school board should have the authority over their local school districts. They know what the students and the community needs. The community can better communicate with the school board because they're local. They're within the community itself and there are local elected officials. Someone in Tallahassee is not going to have the uh, direct communication that the school board can. Not only that, but we should be funding our schools. As of right now, we're really underfunding them, below the average of the entire nation. Florida as it stands is the third most populous state and the fourth largest GDP, yet someone like New York State can fund their schools per pupil $20,000 and we're around $7,000, so we are definitely going to need to work on that. I believe that Medicaid and Medicare for All is one of our best options, or at least giving a public options, much like what you would see in Canada. The reason being is that if you are able to have a backing of health care provided by the government, it's less costly because everyone is pulling into it. Right now, insurance premiums could be hundreds of dollars a month, especially for families. If we go ahead and have a government option where taxes are pulled together, we can better offer everyone health care no matter what income level they are. My background in this matter is that I used to own a firearms business from 2009 to 2012. In that time, I got to see all the loopholes and the problems within the industry. One of the things I would be definitely for is universal background checks, no private sales, and of course, licenses. I haven't heard licenses being bandied about, and I think that's very, very important. We also need to institute a red flag warning system. It's been very successful in not only stopping uh, a massacre that was about to occur, which I believe is in UCF, but also, surprisingly, suicides. When we did the assault weapons ban, it's something that could have had a sunset uh, regulation attached to it. And at that time, we still had massacres occurring, most notably the DC sniper situation where you use an assault weapons ban rifle. I would like to see it where we absolutely stop the massacres from happening at all. I want to welcome you to my website, electmerzowski.com. There you can find my Twitter and my Facebook. I would value your opinion, so please communicate with me as much as you can and any questions you may have. And please, vote for me so we can take back our community.